All right, my first graders, today I'm going to show you again how to add a picture to your personal narrative. So here's our box right here where the picture goes in. So I'm going to click in that box. Okay, so remember, I have choices. I can go to insert, image, search the web if I want to just pick a picture from random from the computer that has to do with my writing. So I'm gonna search the web and I'm gonna think, okay, well, what was my what was my story about that I wrote? Well, mine was about playing a card game. I was playing Uno. So maybe I wanna type in Uno cards and see what it comes up. Well, there's my Uno game. These are the cards I use. So I can pick one of the pictures that goes along with my story that I feel best shows what I was doing. So I'm going to pick this one and see how I click on it. Then I hit this insert and my picture will go right where I put it. Okay, so that's one way to add a picture. I can use a picture from the web. Well, what if I don't want to do that? What if I want to add a picture either of me playing the game or maybe I want to add a picture that I drew? Well, if I want to do that, I have to ask a grown-up for help, have them take a picture, if I did a drawing, have them take a picture of my drawing, and then email it to my, to my school email address, or your, I should say your school email address. Remember, your school email address ha is the same one you use when you log into um, Google. Okay, it has your ID number, your initials, right, your last name at vineland.org. So you email it to yourself, okay, and then you have to go into your school email. So if you go up to the waffle, right, and I'll show you that on a new tab. So you have our new tab. It's just going to take a minute. Remember our waffle. And here's our Gmail account. So if you click on that, it'll take you to your email. And you, if you email yourself a picture, that's where you'll find it. So I'm going to show you my email because I took a, I made a picture of my game and I sent it to myself. Okay. So whatever picture you have, you get it on a phone and then you email it to yourself. So I'm going to go to my email, which I already have up. Here's the picture I want. So I'm clicking on it. Here's the picture I took. I drew my picture. I emailed it to myself. And now I'm going to add it to my drive. So see this one right there? It looks like the tri a couple triangles together with the plus sign. It says add to drive. I'm going to click on that. It's going to add it to my drive. Now I go back to my personal narrative. Okay, and I want my picture to go here. So I click in my box where I want my picture to go insert image and this time remember i added it to my drive so i go to drive and i should see my picture show up there it is do you see my picture i click on it insert and there it is that's the picture that i drew Remember, I drew the picture first, I took a picture of it, and emailed it to my school address. So if you want to draw a picture, you can do that. You just have to ask a grown-up for help, where they can take the picture, okay, take a picture with their camera, and email it to your school email account, okay? So there's my picture, and there's my words. And it's okay that it moved my words down just because my picture is a little big. That's okay. All right, boys and girls, I'd love to see your writing. After you add your picture and you've checked over your work, you want to turn your writing in so I can look at it. Okay, I can't wait to see what you wrote about.